this emotional tug of war we're experiencing right now, the positive and negative all at once. It is the only way Dr. Mark Casanova can sum up this both historic and heartbreaking week in the pandemic, which saw thousands of doses of vaccine arrive at North Texas hospitals, helping protect those who care for us. And in the very same places, dealing with the worst of COVID-19 cases, hospitalizations, and ICU admissions. We are surging. We have not peaked. Which makes the latest update from Dallas County Friday. Some good news about uh, vaccine arrivals uh, and a lot of not so great news about the new medical models. Another example of living with two competing COVID realities. As County Judge Clay Jenkins praised 1,200 doses of vaccine arriving next week for EMS workers, he urged holiday shoppers to limit gifts and groceries to curbside only and avoid indoor dining. Pointing to the latest UT Southwestern modeling showing hospitalizations exceeding 1,000 COVID patients in Dallas County for the first time ever in the next 10 days. Fortunately, Thanksgiving was not as bad as it could have been. But Dr. Philip Wong still calls current hospital capacity precarious with 32 ICU beds available countywide. Dallas County's health director says he expects the Moderna vaccine to be available soon, but caution vaccine availability for otherwise healthy Texans is still months away. It's not expected right now that there would be availability for the general public until like July to October. Doctors say we have come a long way in nine months in protecting ourselves from COVID-19. Now they're asking for at least a few more months of everyone doing their best to limit the spread. That emotional roller coaster that everybody is on right now is hard. In Dallas, I'm David Goins.